spoon. I'm in design environment. I'm going to go over to my um, uh, form, which is there, to get my form tools. And uh, my address, I mean, my top bar is a little different than my desktop one. But uh, so in this case, I'm going to create something uh, from scratch using the face command. So I first step, I got to actually choose a plane, which is that bottom one. And I'm going to just rotate this up. And I'm going to draw half of a kind of spoon shape. And I'm not, I'm going to do some purpose. Of this. I'm going to use this red line as my axis of symmetry. But I'm not going to go right on it. Um, and I, what I'm doing is I'm making a bunch of squares. And each square should be connected to the last one. And so I'm clicking on four, um, four sides. And the last two are connected. Now this seems kind of tedious. So there's this different mode over here in face. This one with this kind of grid is I could click on that one edge, and then I only have to make two um, shapes. And uh, let's see, we're going to go a little wider, and wait one more. And I've seen tutorials where they do way too many faces. If you think of any curve can be defined by three, um, three of these lines. So we got one line, middle line, and there. This is going to define a curve. And as soon as I say, OK, this should turn this into a smooth shape. and But I'm not done. I need to fill in the spoon part. This is just kind of the edge of the spoon. And maybe before I even do that, I'm going to go and use my edit form. And I'm going to make this um, a little thinner. And I'll pull this one out a little bit. And, um, and so I'm going to mirror over that um, this, this center line. But uh, let's fill in this. this um, now, this is actually a top view of half of the spoon. It does actually look like the upside down side view. But so I'm going to go back to face. And as I said, the, in the T-spline environment, it likes um, four-sided objects. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And that's the four sides there. Hit OK. And this is my half of my spoon. Now I'm going to rotate it. But I, I found this is actually easier to do if I do this first. I'm going to um, say modify, modify, flatten, which is somewhere in here. Down, down, pull, flatten. There we go. OK. And it's going to give me all these points. And so I'm going to select all of these that are in the center. And I'm going to say direction, select the plane. And the, the reason I'm doing this is because this will make sure that every one of those points is exactly on the center plane. Sometimes if you try to do it, uh, one or two don't quite get there. And now I'm going to take the, the, this whole profile and I'm going to mirror it. So under um, symmetry, I'm going to say instead of internal mirroring, uh, I'm going to duplicate, mirror duplicate. And I'm going to say this whole object by double clicking it. And then ask me which mirror plane, that one. And I want to weld it, and I lost my object. So let's go back to select. There we go. Because uh, it, it would, you can only internally mirror something that's already got symmetry. So if, if I built this, so this looks a little weird, but um, let's start modeling it. So first thing I got to do is, uh, since it has symmetry on already, I'm going to grab that just one side of the. Um, spoon and push that down and that's going to be the kind of dish of the spoon. So now you can start to see from the side view and again the less curves I have the more uh, smooth it will be so um, if, but if I need some tight details like here usually spoons have a little bit of a kind of a curl up from the side so there's my side and then it might curl back in the back so I'm going to select this and Kind of curve this up a little bit. Now I want a little bit of a curve upward on the um, spoon back, so I'll grab these two and pull them up so that it's got like a little bit of a curve. And the last thing I'm going to do is thicken this. So um, this, I, it's much easier to build stuff in uh, flat and then thicken as the last option. So again, I could spend a little bit more time messing with this, but I think I'm going to just thicken it now. And this back corner has this little point on it. If I delete that, it'll turn into a triangle. And that's not 
triangles it doesn't quite like, so maybe this needs to be just a little narrower. So I'm going to leave it, and when I thicken it, I think that'll turn out okay. Uh, the last thing is maybe this little point right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this square because that gives me two dimensions of um, rotation. So if I pull it forward, you can start to see it actually kind of looks like a spoon. Maybe that's a little too far, but they typically do kind of dip down into the cavity. So I'll pull that back a little bit and say OK. And um, here I also, I'm going to just check it by going Control-1 to the box mode. And sometimes when you're in the box mode, you can really see things that, like that looks like a little too radical. So I'm going to edit form, Boop. grab that little point and move it backwards a little. And maybe, yeah, that's okay. Okay, all right, let's thicken it. So I've got to go, I don't have to go back, but I'm going to go back to Command-3, which is my smooth mode and modify, thicken, and just select anywhere on this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna thicken it downward because I already, um, I built this as the inside and the top level. And uh, how many millimeters? I actually I didn't even measure how big this spoon is, so uh, three already looks too big. So I'm gonna go minus one. Okay, again, it's got this hard edge on it. Now, if I go back into here, I could, I could finish this and put a radius on it, um, which might give me a cleaner look. But this one, I'm going to uncheck that um, crease edge. Modify, crease, uncrease. I'm still in a mesh, yeah. And see, when I uncrease that, it gives me a much smoother back end there doesn't have that little edge and technically that last piece is still a square so let's edit this one more time and now that's a little pointy for what I wanted so I'll pull this up and out so typically when they make silverware they actually start with a sheet metal and then they stamp this out so this is actually pretty accurate um, to how you would make a spoon and I'm gonna finish form here and put the radius on as a secondary operation in the solid environment. And this will give it a kind of engineered look. And so I, I thickened it one millimeter. So if I want a perfectly smooth uh, edge, I should probably go half a millimeter, 0.5 for the radius. And that will go halfway around. And then I got to do the same on the bottom. And usually they don't necessarily always like if they meet up on top of each other. So I'm going to do the bottom one just a tad less. So I'll go 0 0.4 instead. And that should give me a little bit of space in between. Um, I, could use it, I could use the smooth edges on the form, but I was saying that this is how they actually make silverware. Stamp it and then radius the edge uh, and cut it. And even the way the, the edge kind of rolls around the top and then it turns to the side is actually very very much like um, how you would. Okay, so there's the first part is the spoon. Now let's make a cup, but we're gonna use the, um, and actually I'm looking at the spoon and it's it's flat on the bottom. I kind of didn't realize I need a little bit more dish, so I'll go back into my edit mode and just grab that piece. Yeah, I'm editing in the purple mode. I'm gonna push that down a little bit so it has, oh, but I've, See, this is where I've already thickened it. And so you can see my shape is, is coming through itself. So that's why you always want to thicken after the last operation. But I'm going to grab, I'm just going to do this um, kind of uh, short change it a little bit by just pushing that one down. So that thickness might, might not be perfect, but for, for the rendering's sake, it should be OK. And I can also look down here and see that this front edge is not quite the way I want it. So I edit it a little bit more. I might just delete the whole bottom of it and fix it and then re-thicken it. But let's stop with that right there. And then let's go into the um, sketch mode. So I'm going to create a sketch. And you could sketch in any form. Actually, uh, sorry, I'm going to finish this form. 
let the radiuses and stuff go on. Uh, one error. So it's showing me that the one of these radiuses, the second one I threw on there, failed. And so if I go back and edit feature, and I probably, if I just put a little bit less, so instead of four, let's just go two. And now it did it. Uh, so now let's make a cup super quick. 